Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate this Ionic 5 into Home Assistant, the Smart Home Automation Hub. This is an electric car and basically it's a computer on wheels. It gives you so much information with plenty of sensors in it, so we might as well put it to good use by pulling all of the data into Home Assistant. I'm going to assume that you have HACS installed already. If so, click on the left hand side. On the upper right hand corner, click on the three dots. Click on Custom Repositories. Paste this repository in, the category will be integration, and then click on add. It is possible that you have it already, so go ahead and give it a search. Search for Kia, and there you go, Kia Uvo Hyundai Blue Link. Click on it, click on download, click on download again. Now let's go to settings, go down to integrations, add integration. Search for Kia, and there you go. It will take a while to install, but once it's installed, go ahead and fill in all of your information. Go ahead and choose your region. I'm in USA right now, and the Hyundai is the brand. Click on Submit. Select your area. This is totally optional, and then click on Finish. Once you're back to the screen, go ahead and go down and find Hyundai. Click on the device, and there you go. This is all of the information that is pulling in from the Hyundai. It's amazing, isn't it? Here you can see that the battery is at 64%. The air conditioner is obviously off because it's sitting there doing nothing. The whole car is off right now. The 12 volt battery is at 97%. Not too bad. It will let you know if the doors are locked or not. The tire pressures are okay. And if the trunk is closed as well. Simply amazing. Now you can create automations to give you alerts, to give you warning whenever something is off. For instance, the first thing I'm going to do is car battery level. If this thing ever dips down below 80%, then alert me. So let's click on it right here. Click on the gear icon. Copy the entity. And now we're going to create an automation. Click on the plus icon. It doesn't matter what it says right here. Let's click on anything. Delete this trigger. And let's add our own trigger. Click on add. Numeric state. Paste that battery level in and it ever dips below 80%, give me a warning. For the actions, it will be notify my Telegram accounts. For the message, it will be check 12 volt battery level and click on save. Give it a name and then click on save. Done. Let's go back. Let's do the doors now. Following all the same steps as before, we're going to click on the icon gear and then copy the entity here are all of the entities that i found you got the back door you got the back right front and the trunk all five doors and while we're at it let's click on door lock click gear icon and then copy this entity let's create a new automation click on anything you want let's delete the trigger again add the trigger the trigger will be state and we're going to paste all of the doors and trunk in here. Here are all of the doors and trunk added in. If the state is open for more than 10 minutes, go ahead and send me a message. The message will be the doors and trunks are open too long. And while we're at it, let's add another action. This one will be close the doors. So for the service, it will be Hyundai lock. And the vehicle, there's only one, the Ionic. Let's click on save. Give it a title and then click on save. You know, while we're at it with the doors, let's create another automation based on that. Click on the three dots. Click on duplicate. The triggers for them will be all of the same, but for conditions right here, it will be zero. Down at the bottom, the add conditions will be the hours. If it's open between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., then I get an alert immediately to let me know that somebody has opened a door at midnight. Alright, so there we go. If it's open after 10 p.m., 
and before 7 a.m., alert me immediately. We can remove some of these actions right here, or you can keep them if you want. Myself, I'm going to change the message. The message will be Hyundai doors open late at night. It can try go ahead and lock the doors if it wants. We're going to add another action. The action will flicker the lights in my bedroom. Light, turn on. Choose entity. We're going to turn the light on for the garage as well, for the whole place to be lit up. The light in the driveway is actually not a smart light. It's connected to a switch, so the service for this one will be switch, turn on. And then choose the entity. Light, driveway, LED. And then click on save. Give it any name you want, and then click on save. These are the two most valuable automations I can see at the moment. I'm curious what you would use the automations for. Please let me know in the comment section below. Now, by default, these entities refresh every 30 minutes. If that's too much for you, or if you're concerned that it might be uh, draining your 12 volt battery, go ahead and go into the settings. So click right here. Click on configure. And here are some options. I'm going to scan every 60 minutes. The other options, I have no idea. And if you do, please let me know in the comment section below. And then click on Submit. Click on Finish. Now let's have some fun. Let's go back. Here you can see the car parked in the driveway. It is locked. And we're going to unlock it right now. And there you go. You can see that the car is unlocked. Interestingly, on my phone, I also get an alert that the door was unlocked successfully. I right, hopefully this video helps you on how to pull Blue Link cars into your home assistant. Myself, I have the Hyundai Ionic, and it's working perfectly as seen here. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.